Alright, Shalom, Shalom. I'm start saying all praise and glory due to Yahweh and Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Bakar Kadash. A uh, double honor set of positive L's, great millstone, peace and mercy be unto the Lord's elect out there uh, teaching the word and the truth of sincerity. Alright, um, as you already know, I'm the brother of Mar from the branch of GMS Cleveland. And I'll uh, come back at you another video. And uh, real quick, this will be, um, will be strictly, uh, you know, concerning prophecy. Matter of fact, the name of the video will just be um, Prophecy. Because um, what people um, are starting to see more and more is um, uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans waking up to their biblical nationality. And um, if you don't know, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's prophecy. The Lord prophesied, and it's all throughout the scriptures, of how that was going to happen in the latter days. And uh, I was going to get some scriptures to back this, those statements up. This is... Um, the book of Baruch, chapter 2, verse 30. It says, uh, it's like, excuse me. It says, For I knew that they would not hear me, for I knew that they would not hear me, because this is a stiff necked people. It's talking about you, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Alright, which, um, uh, what makes up the, uh, um, the, um, the, uh, 12 tribes. Obviously, you have the other tribes as well, like Issachar and so forth and so on, Asher, Naphtali and stuff, Gad, Reuben. But it says, um, but in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. And, and, what's, and uh, what is that going into? It's talking about where we currently are right now, all right, which most of the um, the Israelites, or you, you have Israelites throughout the whole world, but um, the main deliverance is going to happen here in Babylon the Great, all right, pursuant to the scriptures. But um, it says, but in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. And right now, no matter where you go, whether that's over there in the islands, all right, the UK, you know what I mean, Babylon the Great, all right, or some other remote area, more than likely you are uh, a captive, all right, under whatever nation. Because our people as a whole, you know what I mean, we don't have um, any control over anything. We don't have any... um. Uh, sovereignty, if you will. So, majority of our people, uh, as a whole, are in, are in captivity. All right. So, that's why it says, "But in the land of their captivities, no matter where you're at, they shall remember themselves." And that's happening right now. That's why you see a lot of our people starting to wake up to the madness um, that's going on. You know what I mean? Because the Lord is starting to pour out His Spirit on uh, on all flesh. All right. Even regular, even 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 regular Jakes, man. Um, they're starting to figure out, you know, what I mean, certain things. You know, what I mean, even if they don't have the whole breath, or they don't have the whole uh, flesh. All right, but the skin is being put on them. They just they're just missing, you know, what I mean, key things. But at least they came back to the conclusion that there is life. All right, but uh, it says uh, verse thirty one, and shall know that I am the Lord their God, for I will give in the heart, which is lob in the Hebrew, which mind, which is mind. And ears to hear, and that's what the Lord is doing. He, he's giving us it, um, ears to hear. You know, what I mean, and eyes to see was 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 truly happening uh, in the earth. All right, and like I said, this these are you can say that about pretty much um, regular Jakes, man. All right, because people starting to figure out that you know, what I mean, this life that they're that they're living is um, BS, and that um, the people who are currently in rulership, which are the Edomites. Um, which are so-called white people, Caucasians, that they're um, that they're 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 they're, they're running a scam. All right. Uh, it says, um, verse thirty-two again, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity. It says, and uh, think upon my name, and that's currently happening. All right, we're praising the heavenly Father, which is the most the most high is Yahweh, which means He is or He 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 is or He exists or He to be, and then um. His son name is only begotten. Yahweh Shai means uh, he delivers or he saves. And uh, we're praising those names all right, in, our, in our captivity. All right. It says, and think upon my name. Like I said, and you see that right now. We're, we're, we're coming back to our heritage uh, and, and starting to, um, you know, uh, cleave unto the, uh, the scriptures. All right. It says, verse 33, and return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds. For they shall remember the way of their fathers. And that's what, just what we're doing. Alright, we're starting to remember the way of our fathers. Alright. 
All right, the scriptures uh, that was written before time, written for our learning. Matter of fact, uh, get this real quick. Where's that? Uh, that was a sixteen six. Yeah, what is that scripture? Uh, I think it might be Job. Remember, uh, search of their fathers, and you just type in. There we go. There's one in Job. It was another one too, but this is Job chapter eight verse. Uh, Job chapter eight verse uh, eight. It says, "For inquire, I pray thee, of the former age, and prepare thyself to the search of their fathers, man." And that's what we're doing. It right, says, "For inquire, I pray thee, of the of the former age." And we're acquiring about the former age, all right? And prepare thyself to the search of their fathers, man. And that's what we're doing. Like I said, we're preparing ourselves for the search of our fathers. And we want to know, you know what I mean, what are the reasons why these things are taking place? Why is this happening? All right? And that's like I said, it's another one in Jeremiah, man. I, I want to say it's, uh... Damn, man. I want to say it's 15, 14... But if I can't find it, it's cool. But there was, it was another good one, uh, and uh, and Jeremiah. I thought it was fifteen. I thought it was sixteen, but it's all good. But um, yeah, like I can say that that's what's happening. That's what that's what you see to this, that's what you see when you know you you see so called black Latinos and Native Americans on the streets, and you know what I mean, and uh, holding the signs, you know what I mean, with the garments on. That's 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 this these prophecies. That's this prophecy. Being fulfilled, it says, um, for uh, verse 33 again, it says, in return from their stiff neck, it says, and from their wicked deeds, that's what we're doing, we're repenting, all right. It says, uh, for they shall remember the way of their fathers which sinned before the uh, Lord, and I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath uh, to their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and they shall be lords of it, and I will increase them. And they shall not be diminished. See this, and this is which is which is about to take place. The Lord is about to get ready to destroy Babylon the Great, and you can currently see that right now if you look out in the world and you're paying attention to the news. And He's going to um, uh, place us in the land uh, which is currently being inhabited by uh, Amalek. All right, and it says, uh, and I will. It says, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their God, and they shall be my people, and I will no more. Drive my people out of Israel, drive my people, uh, I drive my people of Israel out of the land that I have given them. Yeah, because that that covenant that is going to make what is going to be the last age commandment is written in our inward parts, and we're never going to go off. Uh, and that that literally means that we're never going to go off, and we're never going to sin. Yeah, you know I'm saying, and um, yeah. Oh, this is the scripture too. I wanted I wanted Jeremiah six and sixteen. Linked out with Job eight and eight. It says, "Thus saith the Lord: Stand ye in the ways and seek, and ask for the path, old paths, wherein is the good way, and walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls." But they said, "We will not walk therein." And this is um some of our people saying that man. Some of our people, the two thirds, they're they're they don't want to walk in that um that way, uh, that the heavenly Father have has established uh, from the beginning of the earth. But that's okay. That's why you have the two thirds, and they're gonna get uh wiped away and a lot of these upcoming um prophecies is about to get ready to take face take place and mainly um if if you're slated lord one i'm not another not of that number um the second death but this is the last scripture uh i got well i got two more and i'm gonna close it it's the book of deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 1 and it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee the blessing and the curse which i have set before thee it says, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations where the Lord thy God have driven thee. And you can obviously see that happening. Obviously, man. That we, we, we Every time brothers go out there, especially when you first wake up, you speak about the, uh, you know, Deuteronomy 28th chapter. All right. And you speak about the curses that, that, that took place, 1 through 14. Then you jump down to 15 on the way down. With well, the blessings is 1 through 14, excuse me. And the curses uh, from 15 on the way down. It's, um... 
uh, the curses is fifteen all the way down. The blessings is uh, one through fourteen. We we you know you, you speak about those things and you let the people know, you let our people know, let the heathens know. Yeah, this is you know this is us. This is what happened to us. This is the reason why we went into slavery and so forth and so on. This is verse two and um, and shall return unto the Lord thy God and shall obey His voice according to all that I command thee this day. That that it says thou and thy children and it says with all thy heart and with all thy soul. It says that then the captivity. It says then that the Lord. Uh, thy God, it says that then the Lord thy God will uh, turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee, and will return and gather thee from all the nations, whether the Lord, Lord uh, thy God have scattered thee, and this is currently taking place, man. You know what I'm saying? And it says, and if and it, and it says if any of thine be driven out uh, unto the utmost parts of the heaven, from thence will I, from thence will the Lord thy God gather thee, and from thence will I fetch thee, so yeah, you, you see that to this day, man, all right, like I said, in these latter days, the Lord is, uh, waking us up, and, uh, definitely, um, you know, bringing us back to remembrance of, um, who we really are, matter of fact, um, uh, this is the Baruch chapter, uh, three, verse, uh, Where's that one at? Three and seven. It says, "For this cause thou, uh, for this cause thou hast put uh, thy fear in our hearts, uh, to the intent that we should call upon thy name and praise and praise thee in, in our captivity. For we have called to mind all the iniquity of our forefathers that sinned before thee." Yeah. Yep. And like I said, these these are things that you can see. All right, we're we're calling to mind. Um, the things that the Lord has spoken about um, in the scriptures, man, they, um, and it's written down by the prophets, our forefathers. And we praise the name of the Heavenly Father and the Son, you know what I mean? So we can get the hell up out of here and we can rule in righteousness. And all these things are spoken about, man, in the scriptures, man. All right, so I got this last, this last precept, man. Uh, Sirach 39 and 15, magnify his name and show forth his praise with the songs of your lips and with the harps. And in praising him, ye shall say after this manner, All the works of the Lord are exceedingly good, and whatsoever he commanded shall be accomplished in due season. Yep. So, yeah, everything from the book of Genesis all the way to Revelation is it, 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 going to take place. You know what I'm saying? And um, We're living in that time where Babylon the Great is, is, is going down. You can clearly see it. And uh, pretty soon the destruction will follow, and uh, the elect will, be get, will, will get beamed up. Alright, with that, I'm going to say Shalom to the Baba Ball.